for now, um, it's my honor and pleasure to welcome the chief guest for today, Dr. William Tunga, to make his remarks. Dr. Harry Karim. Okay, uh, everybody, everybody is here. So this, um, I, I, I thought it would be a great idea to address this generation. Uh, not, uh, not because I'm saying the Gitwa Kaingeri, ourselves, and these other generations did not fight for this nation. But I think this is the generation that is going to keep this country together. And that's why I wanted to talk to, you know, to them. And I talk about, first, the death of this nation, that they should not allow this nation, you know, to die. And uh, what is killing this nation? Uh, divisions uh, that have divided this country and has made it very difficult for us to build a nation. And these are the divisions I want to repeat and you know all of them. Uh, ethnicity, okay, religion, we divided on the basis of religion, race, uh, we divided on the basis of region. That's why people in Mombasa say Pwanesi Kenya. That's, you know, that, that's, that's a, a, a narrative uh, for, for division. Then gender, okay? Then generation. There's a, a division there. Uh, a division between uh, farmers and pastorates. Uh, clan, okay? Clan, if you are from uh, the Somali community, it's a very, very divisive. Uh, uh, issue and uh, you know class. So I'm telling this uh, this particular generation: if if you want Kenya to be a nation and to, to not to die, then you must make sure that just like the Mau Mau, you fight for the nation and don't follow our footsteps, the footsteps of the the ruling elite in this country which is very, very, very divisive, and you know it. Uh, I'm sure you picked a bit of this from your uh, parents, uh, but it's, it's up to you to make sure that that doesn't uh, uh, happen. And I'm also calling upon you, the group of, uh, of, of under 35, from today, because you have been given uh, the, the mantle to, you know, to lead. Uh, I want you, before you leave, uh, Uhuru Park, you know, to have, to sit back there and have uh, a peaceful, fair, uh, and credible election. Okay, I know now you won't have time to bribe anybody. I know in your schools you even bribe to get elected, but here you won't have a chance. And start a movement, because you are very lucky to be here. Alright? So, Make sure that you have a mama movement that you as a group uh, can actually start nurturing and building. Okay? That is very, very important so that these ideas I'm talking about uh, uh, can grow. The last thing I want to say to uh, Mau Mau and these other generations, my generation and others, uh, because there was a lot about death. There was a lot about death, but I think there is a student from the university who made one great point, and he said uh, the people might be dead, but the spirit, the, the spirit lives, and I think that's true. Uh, whether you believe as I do uh, that our answers don't go away. You know, they are somewhere here on the trees watching us. I don't know what the bishop thinks of that, but that our constitution allows us to, you know, freedom of worship. So we might differ on that issue. But 
the spirits of our ancestors, the spirit of uh, Kimathi, the spirit of Jaramogi Odinga, what we call spirit is what these people stood for, you know, Mekitlili, uh, Oitaleo, all these people, you know, they are dead, but their spirits move us. So I was telling uh, Shuja uh, uh, Gitu Baingeri not to worry about Ati Unaenda, your spirit is everlasting. And even our generation, uh, you know, we must make sure that we also have uh, uh, a part of that uh, living spirit. And thank you very much, Nawashukuru Sana. Uh, I will let um, uh, Morala translate uh, my messages because if I st start translating them in sharing, I'll take a long time. I'm still learning. Thank you.